Hey guys, so today, I hope everybody's doing good. It's about, it is about 2.30 in the afternoon and we've decided to make a treat to have for Easter. And what you're gonna need is, you don't have to have the aluminum foil, but I used it to just cover my pan for easy cleanup. But aluminum foil, we bought the square pretzels, M&Ms, Hershey Kisses, of which we've already unwrapped, and we've already got our pan covered with aluminum foil and our pretzels out, and Peyton is going to start putting our Hershey Kisses on top, oh. one on top of each one of the pretzels, and while he does that, I've already got the oven preheated, well it's already preheated, but I've got it preheated to 200. And then we're going to put those in there and they're going to stay for three to five minutes just until the chocolate starts to get real shiny and, um, and melty. And then when they come out, we're going to take, and I'm sure everybody has probably seen somebody make this. I think Fallon from the Moss family made these and I'm sure a lot of other people did too. Um, but when they come out, you're going to take an M&M and you're going to put one M&M on top and kind of mash it down and then let them cool off. And then you can store them just in an airtight container. I looked when we were at the store for um, Easter colored M&Ms, but the grocery store didn't have them. All they had was this, uh, was this bag of the M&M's that I got the 10.7 ounce bag of just the regular M&M's and I don't think we're going to use all of those and then for the classic the Hershey Kisses I got this the classic bag uh, 12, 12 ounces and I almost never found these because they've changed the bag instead of it being the flat bag that laid down like this it's the bag that sits up and I just, I guess it's been a while since I've bought a bag of Hershey Kisses. And then, of course, you can see the M&M bag has changed, too. It doesn't lay down flat. All the bags stand up. Or at least they do at our grocery store. And um, I got both of those at Food City. They were about $3, I think $3.29 and $3.49. And then the Butter Snaps, um, the, the Butter Flavored Pretzels, it is the nine ounce bag and I got those at the Dollar Tree when we were in there the other day. I think I had those, I may have put those in my grocery haul that I had and, but I'm not for sure, I can't remember. But anyway, so those are the three things that you need. So it's a pretty easy treat to make and it looks like we may have put out more pretzels than we have um, Hershey Kisses. Somebody ate some Hershey Kisses while we were unwrapping them. Only just one. Just one. Only, only just one. Only just one. Me. So uh, we're going to have to take what's left of the pretzels off and just put them back on our Scooby-Doo plate. And I'm sure the same person that ate our Hershey Kisses won't have any trouble eating our pretzels. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. That's and correct. And I did and he made me all the broken ones. And maybe he ate all the broken ones when we got them out. Yeah. So, he's going to get those last three off. And I'm going to eat them. And he's going to eat them. So, there he goes. And I'm going to take these over to the oven. And I'm going to put those right in the oven while he eats the leftover pretzels. So, I've got those in the oven. And I'm going to set the timer for three minutes and I'll see you back here in three minutes and we'll have a look at those okay so our timers going off let's go ahead and stop the timer and have a look they look shiny so let's turn off the oven let me get a let's see if I can find my pig it's to get out a hot pan. So while Peyton is over there, he's supposed to be separating. It looks like he's eating. 
but he is supposed to be separating since we couldn't find the Easter. I've always separated them. Okay, since we couldn't find the Easter, we're trying to separate the colors that are most Eastery. So right now, we're just going to set these aside. Hopefully, we've got enough. And we're going to take one, put it right on top, and mash it down really easy. So we're going to try to work quick. And we'll get all these done. So hold on to some. Okay, so here we go. Peyton's putting on the last one. We're looking him over to make sure we didn't miss any. And he's chewing again. What does that mean? That means I'm eating a pretzel. <laughs> that means he's eating a pretzel. So when we make crafts, sometimes it's hard or snacks for somebody not to eat the things that we are making them with. So this is how they turned out. I think they turned out pretty good. Now we've got to let them cool. And... Do we know what's happening here? What's happening here? Making a mix. Are you making a Chex Mix? Our own creation, I see. <laughs> so again, all I used was my pizza pan. It's what I used. So I would have, I could put a whole lot on there. I covered it with aluminum foil. This is going to be good. And it's good, according to him. I used my aluminum foil. I bought one nine ounce bag of the butter snaps of which we didn't use half the bag probably i bought the bag i don't know where it went of the hershey kitses which were the 12 ounce bags and then i bought a 10.7 ounce bag of the m m's and we just separated yes it's in the trash. and we just separated the colors out so we could use the more eastery ones and as you can tell there's quite a few left in there still so um, all together, this probably was, you know, a decent three, five, six dollars, and it made quite a few. There's probably, I don't know, maybe 30 on there. And no mix? So, we're still making our own mix over here. So, it'll be a pretty good treat, and I hope you guys give it a try for Easter. Maybe you can find the the Easter colored ones, but we worked with what we had. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, hit that like button down below and subscribe. Bye.